Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Episode 10 of the Bomber Show. I'm here with Clarence Peterson, who never lets me get a word, a whole sentence in without interruption. Never. I think this should be called Boy Interrupted, the show. But never, never mind. Enough about me. It is 12, 12, 12, 10 days before the end of the world. Clarence Peterson, we're at the Whitney Forum on a very cold night in Flim Flon, Manitoba. 31 below. 31 below. Yeah. Very cold night, but the Bombers are heating up. The Bombers are heating up in the SJ still in first place tonight. Could be for in the north, but yeah. tonight a, w- a victory could put them over the top and they'd be number one in the league once again. Clarence Peterson, you're, give me some, don't interrupt. Give I, me, I, I, don't, uh, don't. Anyways, yeah, no, I, I'm excited. This is a big game for them. Uh, I mean, you always want to prove yourself with the uh, top teams, and, and Melville is one of the top teams, top, say, uh, four or five teams in the league. So um, Mike's going to have, uh, I, I know we got some injuries, but uh, Mike's going to have the, the guys really skating hard tonight, hitting. Um, it's going to be a great game tonight on this cold night in Flim Flon. Well, and Melville picked up two players, Boyer and Richie, from the uh, uh, Lorange Ice Wolves to a team that was already rich in scoring talent. So, yes, it will be a, it will be a challenge for the Bombers tonight because they're going to have to play a tight defensive game. They're going to have to get some uh, goaltending, and uh, it's going to be perhaps... One of those playoff precursor games, Clarence. We've got to take advantage that this is our home rink. Uh, yes, they've got the the goal scoring, but it's our home rink, and I think we've got to, uh, you know, show the authority right off the bat. We've got to start hitting. Uh, we've got to dump the puck in, nothing fancy, uh, and go at it. We're going to get great goaltending. We know that. We know we've got one of the best defensemen in the league. The matter is, we got to set the tempo. We got to set the the, the atmosphere in the crowd, and uh, we got to take the game to them, not them to us. You heard it here from Clarence Peterson. Wise words from a wise man, an experienced hockey man. The Bombers got to take it to Melville in our home rink. And as the players say, and this is one of my favorite expressions right now, we got to chip pucks and we got to get it in deep. That's right. And, And you know what I mean? Every shot and goal is a great shot. You know, shoot on net and just follow through. We got to have people charging the net. Excuse me. Would yeah. you like to quote me? Yeah, I, I thought I thought they know that. I thought our fans would know that. That's your saying. Every shot on net is a great no, shot. No, that's not it. That's not it. No, no. Every shot on net. No, no. How about if I say? Okay, it? say it. Okay, a shot on net may not be the best play. Or something no, like that. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> no, a shot on net is always. A shot like, is a good shot. <laughs> never mind. I can't remember, I can't remember my that. own BS. Yeah, yeah. yeah threw me off yes, my game. I, know. I think what we should do is try and get Michael George up here. He's. Yes. He, I, I heard he's quite offended by our last week's show because of uh, the toupee comments, the lisp comments, the bad dressing comments, and the elevator shoot comments. But other than that, I thought the interview went very well. So stick around on shot. Mike is a friend of ours. I mean, we, we meant no harm. You know, there. I mean, people people are asking me, uh, is it a toupee? I don't know. I mean, he should prove it in front of Shaw Cable here. Like, pull it off or put it on. I, I'm just saying, I don't know anymore. Well, he, uh, truthfully, he has no problem with me. It's, it's you he has a problem oh. with. But oh. anyway, stick around, Shaw Cable TV, because the Bombers show live to tape at the Whitney yes. Forum on 12, 12, 12, 10 days before the end of the world. Stick around. We'll catch you in a minute with assistant coach Michael George, so stick with us. And we're here on the Bomber Show with the two studliest men in town, Clarence, the man, Peterson. Yes. Brent, Lefty, Lethbridge, and me. So Got far, stuck in again. the middle. <laughs> but we will pick this show up right now. As Johnny Dukes would say, let's go. Let's go. Okay, Clarence. What, yes, do you, what do you think of the Bombers this year? Well, oh, wait, no. you haven't been to any games. Never mind. <laughs> he hasn't, you haven't been to any games, Clarence. So I, I, how, how I can you, to that. you... You can't even lie. Like, <laughs> this is on You're TV. Right. These people pay money to watch this. And you come with this. I, I've been... Unacceptable. <laughs> I've been to key games. Key games. Which ones? Uh, the first, third, fourth, and seventh. Who did we play? Uh, you were no idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let's talk about Nippawin. Yeah. They, 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 they come in here. They beat us. You go back there. You beat them in Nippawin. Let's talk about that. Isn't that kind of reversed? Isn't that reversed the way that it should be or what? 
Well, you know, at the end of the day, we got the, the last win, I guess. So, yeah. you know, we were down uh, going into their uh, rink and we pulled out and we got uh, two points. So, I mean, that's a positive. Obviously, uh, we would like to have won at home. Uh, they've had our number last, uh, I guess, two times we've played them here. They've beat us, only two lost at home. So, uh, it happens. And, uh, you know, I thought the boys uh, rallied and came back Saturday night and had a good showing. Yeah. They did. Now they're Clarence. back here tonight. Yeah. <laughs> what have I got to say is, yeah, um, I think uh, the Bombers uh, did well. Like you say, beating uh, Nippo in, uh, in their own rank last game. I, I think that's, you're right. That's We came back. A lot of teams could have had excuses while they beat us and whatever, but they didn't. Uh, what I want to know is about tonight's game, what are you guys uh, going to do any differently to play Melville? They got good scoring. Yeah, they're a quicker team. Um, they work hard uh, in spurts. You know, we've got to stay on their uh, top uh, six forwards. Uh, you know, they've got McNulty and Trudeau, who are their high-end guys. Uh, and we're going to... Boyer. Yeah, Boyer's not a high-end Ashen. guy. Ashram's a high-end guy, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, we'll just hit those guys and, you know, uh, keep that physical uh, presence and uh, go from there. Uh, a, a, a good, solid team. You're playing tight... Uh, tight games lately, a lot of one-goal games. Is this helping the team get to where they want to go these these games lately? Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's that time of the year. Everything tightens up around December, right? Uh, you know, teams are down to 21 to 23 guys uh, with a couple, uh, you know, spots to make some trades and whatnot. Uh, you know, guys have been here since August, right? So yep. things should be ironed out by now. And, you know, we should be getting better as a group. And as a league, obviously, it's the uh, same for everyone, right? Those uh, couple months of hard work are paying off. And, uh, you know, like Laurent just came out of the basement there lately and uh, things like that. So uh, the league obviously uh, tightens up every year, as we know. And uh, there's usually not too big a spread. So we just got to keep working hard and uh, keep getting better every night. Now, it seems in the SJ, you have the... Before see, before Christmas schedule, mm -hmm. and then things seems to change after Christmas, and then they can change again going into the playoffs. But if you were to give yourself a grade over the first 30 games of the season so far, what would you say are the major strengths of the Bombers? And I, I don't want to talk too loud, but any kind of weaknesses that you may see that you would like to address out there? Well, uh, hey, Clarence, uh, how's that for a question? Yeah, that's a doozy, Clarence. Yeah. That, that, that's no, a real, that, that's that a great like question. A but question. I'm going to even butt in before that answer comes out. Oh. I, I want to say that we have an A++ goaltending. That, that surprises me. I mean, both goaltenders are, are playing unbelievable. So start there, Mike. Start from the goaltending, okay. which is great. From the back out? Okay. Yes. Yeah, actually, you know what? Uh, Devin Buffalo's been sensational. You know, uh, last year he came in as an 18-year-old uh, and proved some things. And, you know, he was Rookie of the Year for a reason. I yep. mean, coming back, we expected that. Uh, Brandon Wildung we picked up. Um, you know, we got an email from the kid. And next thing you know, he's here. And uh, we're sure glad we brought him in. He's been awesome. Uh, He's going to start tonight, so, uh, you know, he played really good in uh, Nipwin, and uh, hopefully Willie can uh, get us another two points tonight. Let's talk a bit about your defense, because I think the defense has some good size. They make a good first pass. They're physical, and even when you lose games, it's by, like, two to one. You're only giving up a couple goals. Yeah, we're very deep in the back end, obviously, this year. You know, we have an older uh, team, and, uh, you know, guys like Josh Roach, uh, Brown Weldon, uh, you know, they're 20-year-olds, and... Uh, if you got a 20-year-old kind of with every guy, it sure makes it a lot easier for those other guys to get in the lineup and uh, make transitions easier, whether they're playing power play, penalty kill. They've had somebody they've been, that's already done it for two years with them. So yeah. those little pieces of advice can help. And, uh, you know, they also have a great defensive coach. Uh, yeah, that's not true. saying names or anything here, but, no, I'm just kidding. You know, those kids are all good work ethic. And, uh, you know, we've uh, I think we've really elevated our physical play lately. So... Uh, from the defensive uh, point anyways, you know, they're finishing their checks and uh, it's been good. Well, and you've, you've brought in uh, Zelinski, looking good. Yeah. Uh, Garrett, yeah. We got to see him play. Yeah. Hounsel and um, Hall have definitely picked up their games. Yeah. Uh, I think Clark is that much better. And of course, then again with Roach here, it's sort of like the cherry on the top of the uh, top of the cake. Yeah, exactly. You know, those uh, those guys like uh, Garrett Zelinski, he's came in and, you know, he's uh, been pretty good so far, you know, for the first, uh, I guess, half the season. You know, he's got in lots of games and uh, he's getting better every night and that's what you want from a young kid. He skates well and, uh, you know, he's a good kid on and off the ice and that makes it huge, uh, you know, for me coaching him, you know, knowing that the kid's going to listen and uh, that he uh, wants to be here and he wants to work hard. 
I'm I'm uh, concerned at the other end of um, of the forwards. You know, our our top six players. You know, they're there. What about the third and fourth lines? Do we need more depth? Uh, what do you, What do you think? Uh, are they playing as good as you expected? Um, do we need to fill some holes? Uh, you know, in penalty killing. What do you think? Um, no. We're pretty good up front, That's a I think. Answer, Mike. We're, yeah. we're, we're yeah. pretty good up front, I think. Uh, you know, we're we're very deep. Uh, we've got you know we've got a 20 year old that's playing on our fourth line and Spencer Malt, and you know that kid. Uh, you know, he's a mean potatoes guy, but he can do a little bit of everything. And if you got a guy like that on your fourth line, you're uh, you're pretty happy with it. Did you say mean potatoes? Meat and potatoes. Oh, meat and potatoes. Meat and potatoes. I, 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 Did you I, say I, beets and potatoes? No, I thought you said mean and potatoes. I thought, man, I missed something here. That could be a new one. We could, you know, we could phrase that or, nope. Put put your hearing aids in, Brent. Okay, so you know that we can continue on. Go ahead. Yeah, where did I go after meat and potatoes? Ah. I don't, oh, I don't think we're anyone's talking listening. About, we're, talking, <laughs> we're, we're talking about our third and fourth line. That's what it was. Yeah, uh, yeah you know, and uh, to add guys like the, uh, Spencer Malt, when we got him, uh, is huge for us. Uh, you know, the Robinson Litke, uh, yeah. those guys, I you like know, they, they pound and they work hard. And, uh, you know, those guys don't get enough credit. So here it is, boys. Good job. Uh, and, yeah, you know, those young guys like Cole McKegg, you know, I think he's really stepped it up this year. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's kind of coming into his own a bit here. You know, if, uh, he keeps working hard. He's only going to get better. He skates so well, and that's obviously a huge aspect of the game. So so do you think uh, the next trade uh, de- deadline in, in the middle of January, are you looking for somebody or are you going to – or I like to say Mike's always looking to improve the team. But, I mean, you got to be careful with the chemistry, too. You know, you're, you've got good chemistry. You've got good yeah. leadership. But are you are you looking for that one person to fit in a hole, or, or what, do you, what do you think? Just uh, keeping options open. I mean, you never say never. If uh, Wayne Gretzky were to come available, yeah. you know, you'd definitely take him. I mean, uh, obviously, it depends on what you'd have to give up for the franchise and whatnot. You'd have to keep that in mind. But at the same time, if, uh, if the, you know, the price is right, uh, why not? You know, we're in first place for a reason, and... If you can maybe add a, a 20-year-old or um, you know a mature 19-year-old or someone like that to your lineup, that'll uh, help you, you know make that uh, last little push in playoffs. You know that veteran experience. Uh, you know like Melville, for instance, we uh, play in them tonight. They load up every year with 20-year-olds. They've got their max, and they picked up uh, Boyer and Richie, uh, for example, which is going to help them. They're, they needed that grit, and uh, it's a good pickup by uh, them. So we'll see what happens. So, well. Mike's back over to me. Michael George, once again, very informative. Well, saying nothing, saying everything. Excellent interview. You've really got a future in hockey, especially in the interview part and the look part. Clarence was really bragging you up on the, before the show, you know. I, I meant nothing in a mean way. You know that, Mike. You know, I mean, we did get a lot of write-ins wondering if that is your real hair or it's a toupee. And I, 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 I've looked quite closely out there, fans, and... I have to admit, I I, I really think it uh, it is a toupee. I don't it's real. Know. It's real. Okay, I'm okay. too young to have a toupee. Okay, okay. well, I didn't know. You're not Enough of those guys. You're not, Thank you. Not getting my vote <laughs> no, ever again. Ever. Uh, ever. That, hey, listen, stick around on the Bomber Show because we'll have some real entertainment here pretty soon. Enough of the me- the mean and potato stuff. We're getting to the real mean of the matter. So stick around on Shaw Cable TV on 12, 12, 12 because it's Bomber Hockey at the Whitney Forum. There we go. Here we are on 12, 12, 12. Mr. Belaski, captain of Flip Flon Junior Bomber. This has got to be tough sitting in the stands at this time of the year, man. Yeah, I don't know. I've been doing it too much in my career. I really want to get back on the ice, but hopefully the boys can come out and win tonight. Yeah, like um, I, I think you went to the tune the other night. Uh, to give us, can you give us an update on your injury? Or is Mike let you talk about those kinds of things? Uh, it's coming along good. The doctor said I should be able to start skating by the end of this week. So hopefully next week I can play in some games. Was that a, a knee thing? Was it knee on knee, or what the heck was it? Uh, yeah, in Battleford I got a knee on knee hit, and it's just been a little sore the last few days, and they didn't want me to play on it just to make sure everything's good. And it sounds like it is, so. Hopefully I can get back on the skates here pretty quick. Frustrating sitting in the fans, but when you sit in the, in the, uh, you sit in the stands and you watch the team, um, what are your impressions of our team? What do you like about our team? What, what is like, when you sit and watch them in, a, in game situations, what is it that we got that that's, uh, seemed to be successful for us so far? 
Well, it's our depth this year. We got a lot of guys that can play the game. It's nice to see if one line's struggling in a game, another line will step up, step up and fill in their shoes and get some goals for us. And, you know, it's the last few games we've been struggling, but uh, we haven't been playing our best, and we're still only losing by one goal to some of the top teams in the league, which is good to see. Yeah, no, and I, I would have to say, yes, the score got spread out. You look at guys like uh, Conrad Litke or... Um uh, Cole McKaig, you know, these are guys who are, you know, will put the, the puck in a net for you. And, uh, hey, what's it's a great bonus. you got a third or fourth line out there doing that kind of work for you. Yeah, uh, if you look at our team stats, individual stats, we probably got 12 guys that have five goals or more. And that's something that no other team in this league has so far. And we need to keep that going so that we can be successful throughout the year. I think, you know, as a team, you're the, the captain of the team. Um, and you were picked, obviously, for your leadership skills. And uh, with so you, was Clarence. Huh? Yeah. So was Clarence. <laughs> and and uh, so obviously the team misses you. But when you're watching the team, who uh, can you see picking up the slack in, in leadership? Who's who's uh, helping uh, lead the team uh, out in the ice there? Well, obviously Cam Blair. He's a big player. You know, he's he goes out there. He does everything right for the team, and that's that's what we need from guys like that. Josh Roach is another guy. He steps up his game and we need him to continue doing that. Listen, uh, Dylan, we wish you the best. Um, are you going to play any games before, Chris, before Christmas or any doubt about that? Uh, I'm not too sure. I'm hoping to see how these next couple skates go this week and hopefully I'll get back on the ice next week. Well, thanks for being on the world-famous Bomber Show. You're almost a regular here, you, your dad, you know, uh, Michael George. Thanks for being on the show. Stick around to the Bomber Show because we're going to close out with a very good great conclusion so stick with us it's 34 below out and uh, we're in the Whitney Forum just having a great time you should get down to the games you know this club's doing really well so catch you after the break what's he doing hey what is he doing I don't know. Oh, okay. hit the goal oh, yeah, yeah. There, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm so happy to be here with my brother-in-law doing the bomber show uh, you know, on a Wednesday night, yep. uh, 31 below, yep. where would I rather be and who would I rather be with? Nobody. Well, nobody. You're right. We're here. We've got Dorian over there, who now is Scorsese himself. Yeah. Producer. Producer. Yeah. Uh, which is, uh, you know, we're, we're really proud of him. And uh, I'm uh, excited that we have a, 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 a person like Dorian that is... Uh, you know, being a, a steady worker for us and uh, producing the show. You know, because back know. in August, he, he he wasn't a household name. No. Now he is. Well, and, and the other thing about Dorian, he doesn't mind doing the little jobs like makeup, getting us coffee, stuff like that. And and uh, thank you, Dorian. You know, I mean, uh, you look great, by the way. Yeah, you, you look know, great. Yeah. yeah well, you look marvelous. Yeah. yeah. That's what, uh, you know, so uh, I want to say Merry, special Merry Christmas to Dorian. And, uh, what about uh, Ralphie uh, Cosgrove? Uh, you know, Ralph, uh, you know, those letters you're sending me and, and encourage me to talk more, I really appreciate that. You know, Ralphie is, is a, a fan, a loyal supporter, and uh, a good friend. Well, and here we are. Like, uh, it's December 12th, uh, 10 days before the end of the world, as I've said a few times. Um, not many home games left. I'm not sure if we're going to get another show in, Claire's before the Christmas break, and then I'm going to Jamaica. Jamaica I don't, yeah. And I don't know how you're going to do this show from Winnipeg. I, I'm, I'm saying, what kind of hockey is in Jamaica? I mean, this is my brother-in-law. I, I question your your move there for commitment? six weeks. Yeah, commitment. Six weeks in Jamaica, uh, you know, uh, but uh, maybe we'll do something. I mean, you know, Dorian, uh, you know, can, you know, we'll see. I, I, I would like to bring some of the uh, the old minor hockey players uh well, why don't uh, in you? the audience? Oh, maybe that's what I'll do. Okay. Yeah. Hear that, Dorian? You can call yeah. him up or you call him yeah. up. And anyway, we'll do a show. We'd like to say, me and Claire, it's a very, very Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to everyone. Thanks for tuning in to the Bomber yes. Show. You are the most faithful four people in the world, I have to tell you. Thanks for tuning in. Yes. Go Bombers, go. Go Bombers. I think go. we're closing out for 2012. Yeah. It's been a great year. It's, it's been a great year. Merry Christmas, everybody. Have a cup of eggnog. Drive yes. safe. Yes. Drive safe. Keep Eat warm. Turkey. Yeah, eat turkey. Keep warm. Uh, I apologize. I know uh, TV puts on an extra 30 pounds, so I'm actually not as big as the camera is showing. Dorian, yeah, you touch are. Touch it up. You are. Touch you are. It up, you know, and, and uh, uh, I, uh, I, that's one thing I have against Dorian. Like, he's shooting us from the bottom up. Yeah. So, I mean, he gets my whole yeah. stomach. You know, it could be. Could I believe be, the word is gut. Yeah, well, it could be, you know, like I'm on a more even keel. Yeah. But, oh, no, Dorian's down low, and let's, let's get Clarence's full stomach for the full screen. 
Anyways, uh, Merry Christmas to everybody out there and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Thanks for tuning in. We will be back. We'll be back. Yes.